Amador Live. Only on cable, only on TSPN and the World Wide Web at TSPN. Hey, good morning on TSPN. I'm Richard Forster. And I'm Heather Murdoch. Good morning, everybody. How's Heather Murdoch today? I'm good. Am I clean? Am I good? Yeah, you're good. You're <laughs> I'm all good. good. That's kind of purple, isn't it? Yeah, plum. Yeah, exactly. I love yeah, plum. That's about like my favorite color. So. Is it? Yeah, yeah, I love it too. Yeah. It's very um, sophisticated. Yeah. <laughs> So how, are you? Things, how are things today? I'm good. We actually went to uh, Monterey this past weekend oh, really? for a family vacation. Mm -hmm. Just spent a couple days there, and it was really so Did you beautiful. go to the aquarium? We did not this time. We actually, my husband was in the Army, and so he was stationed at Fort Ord originally mm -hmm. for um, boot camp and all that. So we went to the Fort Ord. Okay. I don't know if anyone's ever been there. Um, you know, it, it, it kind of was a ghost town for many years. It's no longer used for military. Mm -hmm. But in the last several years, maybe three or four years, I've actually put a Monterey uh, ca a campus, of the UC right. campus there. My One of my nieces goes there. Oh, okay, really? Yeah. yeah. So that was cool. So we explored all that. We went to my husband's old barracks which is mm -hmm. still deserted there's still some you know definitely some old buildings that are like yeah. ghost towns there um, we hung out there we went to the beach we went to Canary Row we went to the wharf and uh, oh and then on on um, Sunday we went to the mission San Juan Batista oh, okay. that was amazing have you been there you did some great things we did yeah the yeah. mission is gorgeous so it was really an amazing trip perfect trip yeah I asked my niece what are you studying uh, oceanography or something no she was studying film Oh, at Monterey? Yeah, really? she's oh. going to be the next Clint Eastwood. Good, that's wonderful. Yeah, so, we'll get her autograph great. now. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's a great area there. Uh, they have a, a great golf course on the old uh, one of the old army bases. It's called the Bayonet Course. Oh, is it? I, we didn't see that part. Okay, yeah. cool. It's, it's amazing how big Fort Ord was mm -hmm. and is. I yeah. mean, it, I don't know how many acres, but huge. just huge. Yeah. yeah, it was really eerie though. Um, the parts that are still not developed and not used. Right. It was like a ghost town. It was, al it was almost like apocalyptic. Like yeah. you're in the zombies going to come around the corner, <laughs> you know. <laughs> like it's all deserted and old swing sets that no one's using, and it's really kind of eerie. Be a good but place cool. to do some filming, right? Yeah, it would be very much so. Yeah, zombie <laughs> filming. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I took my my granddaughter to uh, Preston Castle for a tour. She asked me to go on a tour. She's not quite five, but she wanted to go on a tour. Oh wow! So she asked me quite a while ago. So I took her on Saturday, and uh, <laughs> it was interesting. She she it held her attention most of the time. Yeah. But I told her at the start that there there are ghosts in the castle. Mm -hmm. So the whole time we were going through the tour, I would say 99% of the time. Yeah, holding a <laughs> grip, a death grip. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. They're looking around for those. For five ghosts. years old, that's pretty good, though. You yeah. Know, to be to be um, attentive to that and yeah, I not took her afraid. attention. I took her attention away from one segment that they were uh, the uh, docent was talking about, where a. Uh, culinary worker was murdered, murdered. yeah so I took right. her attention away from that mm -hmm. and distracted her for a mm -hmm. minute but yeah yeah actually she she handled it real well well kids these days are exposed to that kind of stuff all over TV and yeah, yeah it depends on if they watch TV but yeah her parents try to get her away from that mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. anyway that's good um, we that's have a couple good. mentions yes we do absolutely Jose's is having a very important um, uh, date here it's our 32nd anniversary coming up on June 22nd and of course Jose's is a beloved a Mexican restaurant here in town. They're going to have live entertainment to celebrate from 5 to 9 p.m. in the parking lot under the outdoor tents they're going to have set up. So that's really cool. No host bar to enjoy the show featuring George Silva and uh, with the King and us, Johnny Gibson and artist face painter Leslie Velasquez. And she's always, or Vasquez, I'm sorry. Also Wild West, La, uh, Wild West, Law dogs. Okay, <laughs> never heard of them, but they'll be La great. Sounds good. So La it's going to be a really fun, um, fun place to hang out. Dinner is served from five to nine, and of course, Jose's is on Highway Forty Nine, going out of town in Jackson. Right Saturday, inside. June twenty seventh. You know, yeah, that, that's starting at five o'clock. So I bet that's going to be a party. It's going to be a fun. Well, Martha loves to. The you margaritas know, are going to be to celebrate. That night, so. Yeah, exactly. And what an honor to be in the community that long. And right. she had a very successful business. Yeah, well, and, and great uh, food. Yeah. She has, um, she is really a great person. She is. I love her so much. Yeah. 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 She's just, she's really done a lot for the community too, uh -huh. you know, served and, and, uh, well, and, and she still, she remembers, I, 
I don't know if she's native of Mexico or her family was native. I, would, I think she was. She was. Yeah. But she goes back and, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. does things mm -hmm. and, and takes uh, good things back to her uh, native land and helps the people there, too. So she's helping on both sides of the border. Well, she's really uh, an example of the American dream. That's right. Coming here and making something, mm -hmm. something very successful. So right. that's really awesome. Yeah. Good for her. Yeah. We're going to talk about the Amador County Fair um, quite a bit later on. But uh, July 23rd through the 26th, coming up right around the corner. Yeah. And, uh, awesome. Uh, I think people still, and we'll go over that a little bit, the dates, but people still have time to enter. Yeah, my kids are uh, in I actually, my, um, we had a guest on a couple weeks ago, and um, she was encouraging people to enter in the fair. Mm -hmm. And my granddaughter, I knew she had made like a big flower when she graduated from preschool because we showed up at her graduation from Montessori in Plymouth, and my wife said, without knowing whose it was, oh, look, at that's the best one there. Oh, cool. So yeah. it happened yeah. to be hers. Yeah, that's So great. I yeah. took the, the book back to my daughter and said, you should enter that flower in the fair. Yeah. So um, Quinn, my granddaughter, is going to have that entered. Lauren, my other granddaughter, is going to make something, enter that. Mm -hmm. And then my daughter is going to enter some of her photography. So. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, my kids have been, yeah, my kids have been entering things in the fair for years. Mm -hmm. And this year my daughter is doing photography, my son's doing art. But they've done plants, vegetables, flowers, you know, growing in the, in the, um, in that portion of the yeah. fair. Yeah, they've done a lot of different things. It's a great learning experience our, for the our kids. Our family showed livestock. Yeah, um, of course. Sheep, yeah, you guys are ranchers. Beef, uh, we never did the other things. They weren't too big back then. But uh, I got to tell you, when I was a kid, I entered uh, vegetables mm -hmm. also. Yeah. And I entered these carrots one time. Mm -hmm. And the carrots weren't the biggest carrots. They didn't look like the strongest carrots. But they were all uniform. Uniform. And, and that's And I think a key were, thing. you had to put five on a plate. Yeah, absolutely. And I took them in. And you got to remember, I was probably... At that time, probably about 10. Mm -hmm. And this older lady came up, and she had some vegetables, and she looks at mine and goes, what are you <laughs> going to do with those? Oh, that's awesome. And you know what? You won. Blue ribbon. That's all right. Yeah. Five. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, because the uniformity in the size. That's right. That's, that's, that's what they look for. That's all it took. Yeah, so exactly. I got first prize with my carrots. So. That's wonderful. Yeah. I just I that looked was... for her the rest of the fair, and I never <laughs> could find her. Got to rub it in a little bit, huh? Yeah, this was the fair down in... Uh, I think it was down, yeah, it was down in Paso Robles. Mm -hmm. But I, I looked for her and couldn't find her. So. I think it's so important for the kids to learn about competing and also making something on their own, whether it's mm -hmm. vegetables, growing vegetables, or photography, right. art, whatever it may be. Um, so that process is huge for them, too. Um, and then just being contributing to uh, such a historical thing like right. the fair, you know, it gives right. them a new perspective and mm -hmm. um, healthy competition is good. Right, and, and it's and teamwork. And they have to yeah. learn about. Yeah. There's winning, there's losing. Exactly. You don't always uh, try to award everybody. I mean, you sometimes everybody gets a, a ribbon for competing. Mm -hmm. But there are, in life, there are the winners and the losers. That's right. And you compete and you try to do the best you can. And, and you always have next year. Yeah, it's, and, it's an and opportunity what, to grow. That's you know? the big thing. You mm -hmm. always try to do the best you can. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. So Even it's really good life carrots. lessons. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. That was good. So good for you. Yeah. Cool. Well, we got the a fair lot of things so to talk fun. about with the fair. I don't know what else. What else is going on in the fair this year? I haven't really looked at the at the book too much yet. And uh, what bands? Either, do you know what bands the, are? The Lamb Rate of Gain Contest. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, they've entered. They've started a lot of uh, new livestock in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Last year, I think, was the first year, maybe second year, that they had replacement heifers. Okay. You know what's what that, that mean? Is? They are basically. The next generation of cows. Okay. So they bring these the heifers in, mm -hmm. the girls. The for girls, those of you that's don't right. Know, mm -hmm. But they're bred. Mm -hmm. So uh, the heifers are pregnant. They enter them uh, in the fair. They judge them, and then they sell them. So then it's very heated uh, bidding for these animals too. I mean, they're selling so for about the three thousand dollars a piece because they're pregnant. Right? Uh, because they're pregnant, yeah. but also because beef prices are sky high now. Okay. Okay. But everybody wants a younger heifer to put in their herd so mm -hmm. they have the next generation to go forward because that heifer most of the time will be in the herd for the next 10 years. Everybody, everybody wants the newer model. Yeah. <laughs> so that just came in that's, last yeah. year and it, it's cool. really mm -hmm. really something that uh, people are interested in. They have the, the open show at the fair which if people don't know what that is it's uh, all of your local livestock producers uh, pick out uh, 
per category, let's say you have uh, uh, young heifers. Mm -hmm. They have five of them, just like the carrots. You pick out five, yeah. you put them in a uh, pen, and they get judged based on uniformity. Uh, color has to do something with it, uniformity, uh, and then the, the genetics, the, the look of the cattle, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, but if you, a lot of people see that. I think it's, um, it's been moved around a little bit. I'll try to find it, but I, it, usually it's uh, Saturday. I think it's been held on Friday last year. So mm -hmm. um, it's really quite a competition, though. If, oh. if you've never seen that, it's interesting because uh, they all have to bring their animals in. And a lot of times they'll bring in multiple animals. Mm -hmm. uh, they always have one or two that don't like being at the fair. Yeah. So yeah. you have to watch out for those. Exactly, exactly. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. They're a little rebellious there. Yeah, they're the yeah. ones where they stick their yeah. head up in the air. You better watch out. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And then, of course, on Thursday night, we have the Miss Emblor contest. That's right. So that's great. It's always fun to yeah. be part of that. That should be yeah. really fun. Yeah. Yeah. I was talking to Rich Hoffman about that uh, yesterday. I think he's going to be a judge on that. Oh, is he? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I mean, everybody... Everybody loves the fair, and that's a free event. Yeah, it was absolutely. So yeah, the, the yeah. fair board decided course, that a couple of years ago. And, and of course, TSPN of board, covers that, too, and so yeah. TSPN will have footage from the fair. Speaking of the fair board, look, this is kind of an older picture, but look at that cute little, Who's little that? girl there. Oh, there we go. There yep. we go. That, that's We're going to go to break. Oh. Go to beautiful lady shoes. Yeah. You're a lucky man. <laughs> We're going to go to break. All right.